Hey everyone, Mr. Rago here with Peak Performance Training Center. Today we're going over the nunchucks. Now for those who are very familiar with figure eight motions, today we're going to pretty much make it a little more fancy. We're going to add more circles. More circles, always better. So you're going to take your figure eights, and we'll go ahead and go from the side, so you can see this side. On the side that you're pulling across to, you just want to add an extra rotation. And that'll be very easy to add. But on the side that you're holding the nunchuck, what you're going to do is you're going to, every time this part comes up, you're going to drop your hand down and throw your elbow up. Hand comes down, elbow comes up. Now, obviously, if you just stay here like that, that happens every time. Instead of keeping your head and arm still, when your elbow comes up, it's going to pull across the other side. So hand comes down, elbow comes up, and pulls across. As you can see, going to go from this side, that extra rotation immediately happens on its own. You don't even need to do it. You pull across, rotation happens on its own. Once that extra rotation happens, that's when you just bring the nunchuck up and pull it across, like normal figure eights. The hand will go behind your back a little bit. So we call it dumping the cup. It's like you've got a cup and you're dumping the cup over. So as you can see, the hand drops down, goes behind the hip a little bit as the elbow pulls across. Nunchuck follows. Now when you get this down, keep on practicing, making it nice and smooth. Once you get smooth with it, that's when you start adding speed. And then you can start adding more stuff to that. So, hope this helps, hope you enjoyed, and keep on practicing.